Hello everyone, I'm Juan González. Welcome to Blender for Dental en español. This time in English. What? <laughs> I have very exciting news and I want to share with everyone. The new Blender for Dental module, the guide module, is finally available. And get ready because this information is going to blow your mind. I'm going to show you what all this is about and then we're going to the computer and I will show you how it is functioning. Okay, first of all, you need to know this module mixes the power of Blender with 3D Slicer. If you don't know 3D Slicer, it is an open source software that lets you open and handle files, DICOM files coming from a CBCT scan. And now with a new function, Slicer Blender Link, you will be able to see the same information both in 3D Slicer and uh, Blender at the same time. But why is this relevant? You will be able to see the 3D models inside Blender with all its capabilities and also you can see the same models in real time inside 3D Slicer in every code of the CT scan. Also you will be able to draw a curve and then follow that curve as a path and set different uh, tangent views in order to see the implant in 360 degrees. So you will be able to see everything. In order to plan the implant position, you will be able to choose between tapered or cylindrical implant, generic implants inside Blender. Also, you will be able to import your own implants. Once you have the implants on the scene, you will be able to see the zone of safety. And also, <laughs> you will be able to see the projection of the implant in order to choose between a straight or an angled abutment. Finally, you will be able to design the guide structure using similar tools as in the splint designer. You can choose between a paint layer method or a tube method. Remember that this module needs the model designer, ICP alignment module, and also blockout module to function properly. Also remember that once you get the module, you don't have to pay export fees and all updates will be free. Last thing to know about the guide module is the use of metal sleeves. You will be able to import these parts using the component module and then set a specific uh, drill length for the surgical procedure. Remember that these parts come from the company Steco. I don't know if I say it well, but here is the name. <laughs> I left you a link in the description for Blender for Dental where you can buy all these modules. Remember this is an affiliation link so you will be supporting the channel if you use it. That's all you need to know about this module so let's jump to the computer and see how it's working. Already here so let's find out how this module is working. I have here in my right side my Blender screen in my left side my slicer screen. You can see I have three models here one is a dental model get from a uh, uh, intraoral scan then i have a green and a yellow models the nerve and the maxillary bone these models are obtained from the cbct so here in 3d slicer i have the same thing and what i did is i aligned both models so i have the right surface get directly from the mouth and all the bone information and nerve and everything get from the CBCT and I can see in both screens also I have here this uh, blue path I hope you can see and what I'm doing with this uh, little slider is moving along that path and I can see every single um, cut along this path and now this yellow line is represented here for this screen so here I have a tangent cut and the green one is perpendicular to this one. So the green is this green line. So if I move along the path, I can choose any place I like to put my implant and watch these two screens, these three screens actually, to see the different um, cuts, different uh, planes. Also, I can change the angulation of this plane in both directions I can now is perpendicular so it's 90 degrees I can move it in order to see all around the bone or I can change the angulation to follow the angulation of the alveolar process like so so now I can see exactly 
the same uh, direction my implant is going to to be placed and I have all the information I need for the next step now let's say this is the right place for these implants I don't need 3D slicer anymore and I can work only with blender for dental so now what I have here are a couple implants with the right place to go and all the information I need so now I will input the, the size of the drill hole I would like in order to get in this uh, part the, the, the space I need for the drill hole so now it's done so I will repeat this for the other implant and then create all the structure to design the structure I will need this model which is a passive model and this can be created with the blockout module so now what I have to do is just design the structure following the the shape of this object of this model and finally I will join everything these rings with the structure and I will have my guide so let's jump to the final step finally I have to clean this up using these cutters which are structures designed to help this process so now I clean everything up and I have my guide ready to be printed also I will get with this CSV files all the information about my implants and the dimensions and everything I need to know there is a lot more you can do with this module and this was just an overview of the main functions if you like me to do a full tutorial on this leave your comments below I will be more than happy to help you if you like this video leave your thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also if you know someone who likes to see my course in Spanish Laboratorio Dental en 30 días where I show you everything you need to know to create your digital lab in 30 days very quick <laughs> so if you know someone who likes or who needs this information share my link below and you will be helping me to help others so see you soon in my channel Blender for Dental en Español